Greetings, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. Right, Malcolm Erickson, the pilot in. Oh, that's liable to leave us against the weak goblins that have invaded Neverwinter Academy. And the goblins have so far proven to be a non threat. Now, I did quaff a potion of bull strength so I can keep moving at a regular speed rather than a running speed, which I'd prefer to walk at, but can't currently because I'm carrying too bloody much. And I think the game knows that, which is why they gave you that potion to begin with. And well, if you're not going to use the potions, you might as well sell it later, but I don't think you can sell them for all that much that's really worth it. Alright, any goblins in here? But for sure there were a few. Well, there's at least a chest. Right. Now the big bad is over there. And Pavel decides he wants to go in. Alright. You can deal with the goblins and all that. And the pain. Alright, how do I work? Right, smite you. Let's see what you've got. Good one, Papa. All right, I'll pick up the gold and the remains. Half plate. Well, I'm already heavily encumbered, so healer kit, gold piece. Bolt, right. And we're pretty much ready to go. <laughs> to save the Waterdavian creatures. Kill the ha, a most palpable touch! I must escape! No, guys, if you'd be willing to get out of your sanctuary, we could use some assistance. Let's go! Goblin elites. Alright, so that's done with. And all the creatures have escaped. Darn. Well, uh, let's see what this is all about. We came too late. The creatures are lost. The academy students slain. No, this cannot be. How could this happen? Meet Fenthic Moss. Fenthic looks concerned for those suffering, obviously willing to do anything if it would help the situation. A face so very, but hopeful. All is lost, Fenthic. The nymph has fled. The Yonti and the other creatures have escaped into the streets of the city. And where was Erebeth during all this? And Dester. Dester shifts uncomfortably, obviously displeased with those around him. He looks preoccupied and strained, as though wanting more control over the situation than he has. <sighs> uh, this pack is heavier than I am. Indeed it is. I have come from Lady Erebeth. She sent me to protect the creatures. You are the student she sent? Did Arabeth really think uh, a whelp such as this could defend the water Davian creatures? She should have come herself. Is she really so blind, Fenthic? Lester, I will have you speak no more ill of Lady Arabeth. She did what she thought was best. Bah! I know the feelings you and Lady Arabeth have for each other. But it does not change the facts. She was wrong to bring the creatures here. I will leave you and your lady love to clean up this mess, Fenthic. I must go and make arrangement to recover the cure Arabeth has so carelessly lost. As I say, as I disappear. I need to speak to you. All right, Powerful. I owe you my life, Malcolm. Without you, I wouldn't have made it out of here. I... I could have died, just like my brother. Yes, you very well might have. 
You've got what it takes to be a great hero, Malcolm. Maybe even a legend. But this life isn't for me. I know that now. Some people have what it takes, some don't. And you, you peasant, you don't. Your words are truer than you know. Heroes are born, not made. Thank you once more for saving me. I know you'll be a great hero someday, but I don't want to risk my neck for fame and fortune. I'm no hero. I just want a nice, quiet life. I doubt our paths will cross again anytime soon. Goodbye, and good luck. Indeed. Alright, let's talk to Fenthic. You must forgive, Dester. The strain of the Wailing Death weighs heavily on the Helmites. As their leader, Dester has worked long and hard to help ease the suffering of Neverwinter. And this most recent setback has upset him greatly. I'm Fenthic Moss, priest of Tyr and companion of the Lady Arabeth. You must be the student Arabeth told me about. Yes, I am Malcolm. Dester and I arrived with reinforcements shortly after the attack began. We found Erebeth in the South Assembly Chamber, hard-pressed by dozens of the mysterious assailants. We managed to drive off the attackers, and Erebeth told us she had sent one of these students on ahead to defend the Waterdavian creatures. Well then, by what way did you get here for before I did? While Erebeth tended to the wounded, one of the mages who had arrived with the reinforcement teleported Destra and me to this room. Alas, we arrived to find the creatures in cages upturned, the creatures fleeing. Ah, so that's how. Well, good explanation. Well done, game. Is the battle over, then? A few straggling goblins are all that remain of our attackers, but I fear we have lost this battle. The Waterdavian creatures are gone. We have no clues as to who planned the attack, and I doubt any prisoners we take will know anything who is truly behind this. In any case, Discovering their identity is secondary. Our first priority must be to recapture the Watchdavian creatures, so that we may extract a cure from the Waiting Death. Well, I will help you in this task, Fenthic. Because you're an important person and I take orders from important people. From all accounts, you are a capable man, Malcolm. Erevith told me inst of these told the instructors at the Academy spoke very highly of you. I do not know what role you are to play in this, Malcolm. That is for my Lady Erebeth to decide. You must meet her at the Halls of Justice in the coming week. Lady Erebeth will have more information for you then. Hopefully, we'll have a better understanding of what we are up against. We must do all, we must all do our part, Malcolm. I wish to ask you some questions. Time was the essence, Malcolm. Although, I suppose I can answer a few quick questions. Well, tell me about yourself, good sir. I am a servant of Tyr. Nothing more, nothing less. I serve Neverwinter as it is my duty, and my heart weeps as the city suffers. When Lord Nasher appointed Erebeth to find a cure for the plague, I vowed to stay by my lady's side throughout the ordeal. We are inseparable. So you and Erebeth are lovers? Erebeth and I are of one heart. It is true. Is this surprising? We are both disciples of Tyr. We are both servants of Neverwinter. We draw our strength from each other during these difficult times. In duty, in our faith, and in our love, we will find a way to beat the Wailing Death. Well, tell me about Arabeth then. Arabeth is the shining light who must guide our way. She is a paladin of Tyr, and only her courage and devotion to Neverwinter surpass her grace and beauty. When Lord Nasher appoints Arabeth. Alright, uh, tell me about... Dester. Dester is a good man, though the Wailing Death weighs heavily on him. He does not serve Tyr as my Lady Erebeth or I do, but his devotion to Helm is most admirable. Dester and his Helmites have been tireless in their efforts to offer what comfort they can to those afflicted by the plague. I wish, I only wish Erebeth and Dester would set, could set aside their personal differences. No matter which god we serve, we must all work together in these troubled times. Well, tell me more about these Watsdavian creatures. Erebeth is the only one who has the authority to speak of such things freely. You will have to talk to her at the Halls of Justice. 
Well, I will meet you at the Halls of Justice within the week then. And we'll have a beer with Superman and Batman. There's much to attend to in the coming week. Erev and I will meet you at the temple. May tears blessing be upon you, Malcolm. Level! Alright, another level of Paladin. Alright, Concentration. Discipline. Healing. Persuade. I might switch that up later, but for now this is what I'm going with. And we get a feat! We, can, we get the ability to remove disease and turn on dead. But I also want... what do I want? Um, improved initiative? No, my, my agility is just not good enough for that. Power attack? Yeah. Kinda. At some point I also kinda want toughness, but... Mm. What does Flug do again? Uh, Flug might also be good, but not right now. Right now I kinda need... I, I'll take the power attack, so I can build up to what I want to do. And that's it. Alright. Excuse me a moment as I switch the recording software. And here we are again. Let's continue on. In one brutal attack, the promise of those at the Academy had been all but snuffed out. Hope disappeared with the Waterdavian creatures, and the weight of the terrible sickness pressed down on the city once more. Even more chilling, the whispered rumors of enemies seeking to destroy Neverwinter from within had proved true. Though the identity of those responsible for the slaughter was as yet unknown. Still, a flicker of hope yet remained, for not all had died in the attack. From the bloody carnage at the Academy, a survivor had stepped forward, a champion to carry the torch in this darkest hour. That would be me, of course. Right. Hello, Fenthic. You were quick to answer the summons. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to the Halls of Justice. Oh, thank you. This is a mistake, Fenthic. We know nothing about this well. How can you so blindly trust them? Lester, please. Malcolm showed great promise through its throughout his training at the Academy, and has even done more in the week since the attack. Rarely has a recruit shown so much pot such potential. After so short a training period. If we are to have any hope of finding a cure for the waiting death, we need people like Melkor in service of Neverwinter. I am honored to serve Neverwinter, Fenthic. And I still say we should put our faith in my Helmite brethren rather than an unproven boy. Hey, I'm a man. A noble man. Arabeth holds Malcolm in the highest regard, Dester, and Lord Nasher placed her in charge, not you. Please, Malcolm, you must forgive Dester. The plague takes a heavy toll on us all, a toll made even greater in the past weeks by the attack on the Academy and the loss of the cure. He has no right to speak about me like that. Who does he think he is, and who does he think I am? You do not understand, Malcolm. The true horror of the Wailing Death had yet to be felt within the Academy's walls. The quarantine of Neverwinter has done little to halt the spread of Wailing Death. Bonfires burn night and day as City Watch dispose of the dead, yet the corpses are piled ever higher. It is all we can do to contain the chaos and maintain order within the various city districts. 
Rumors run rampant, and, cit and the citizens are on the verge of panic. Rumors? Because the plague cannot be cured by the priests or clerics of the city, some of the claim is of an uh, unnatural thing sent by an unknown enemy bent on destroying Neverwinter. The attack on the academy in these past weeks will only make things worse, Fenthic. Once people learn how Erebeth lost the cure through a lack of faith. Desta! I will not have you question the faith of my true love. Erebeth believed the academy to be safe haven. Anyway, it's not our place to even discuss such things. My lady Erebeth is in charge, appointed by Lord Nasher himself to stop the wailing death. You must talk to her, Malcolm, as soon as possible. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. It is important that you speak with Annabeth soon, Merkin. But then I'll, I will not refuse your request. Ask your questions. I will answer them the best I may. Though there are many things only Annabeth has the authority to discuss. What do you know about the attack on the Academy? We learned very little in the week after the attack occurred. You are one of the few who survived, Merkin. The instructors were slaughtered, and only a handful of students are left. You must uphold the legacy of the Academy, Malcolm. But I know you will be equal to the task. Rarely has her truth shown as much promise as you. Well, of course. It is me, Malcolm Maestro Erickson. Paladin extraordinaire. There is little else I can tell you about the attack, I fear. We have yet to uncover the identity of the mysterious assailants. Perhaps Elbeth can tell you more. Is there something else you need? Uh, let's ask some questions. Uh, I don't need to know about the plague. I understand what there is to know about the cure of the plague. What's your role in all this, Fenthic? I do what my Lady Annabeth commands, Malcolm. Lord Nasha himself appoints her to oversee our efforts to find a cure. You could not have made a better choice. Annabeth has placed me in charge of discovering who was behind the attack on the Academy. If you ever come across such information, you may report it to directly to me. And of course, I do what I can to ease the suffering of those within Castle Nether who have been infected with the Wailing Death, although they are beyond my power to save. Is there anything else you need, Malcolm? Let's ask some questions. Uh, he's already told me about Arabeth, so what do you know about Dester? He speaks as, as if I am not even in the room. No matter. I am too busy to waste my time chatting with you anyway. You must forgive, Dester. The strain of the wedding death weighs heavily on upon us all. But the Hellmites are our allies in this dark time. Dester and his followers arrived to offer their aid just before the city was quarantined. They came to help us when no one else dared. Is there anything else you need, Malcolm? No, I'll be going now. Go with the blessing of tear upon you. Well, I could talk to Dester, but he is not particularly talkative, I think. Actually, turn up the map. Lord Nasher made a mistake when he appointed Erebeth to be in charge of finding a cure for the plague. My Hellmites are better equipped to deal with this crisis of faith. People should put their faith in the gods, not in Lady Erebeth. I fail to see the dis distinction. Alright, let's slowly crawl our way over to Annabeth. Might as well make the most out of this. I apologize if there's a drop in uh, fidelity and quality of the videos at this point. I'm gonna have to do some editing to put all of these things together and, well, it might not fully mesh up. Not my fault, just the game being difficult. Listen to me here. I must speak with you. And we certainly will, but we'll have to do that next time. Listen to me here. Thank you for I watching. Must speak with you.